Hello and welcome to the Big Story Shelf for Kids. Today we are reading Little Stinker by Steve Smallman and Joelle Brodery that we picked from the Big Story Shelf. Percy was a little fish. He wasn't smart or sporty. He wasn't sweet and kind. In fact, he could be rather naughty. He wasn't that good looking. He was small and kind of spotty. But he was very good at blowing bubbles with his body. <laughs> Percy's special bubbles often got him into trouble. It's easy to make mischief with a wild time body bubble. He liked to lie in wait as other fish were swimming past, then flip them upside down with an enormous body blast. At school, he always tried to cheat whenever they had races by blowing stinky bubbles in the other fishes' faces. Then, using supersonic butty burping bubble power, he shoot off like a rocket at a hundred miles an hour. Sometimes during lessons, he would wait for、M、Mrs. Trout to turn her back, and then he let a whiffy whopper out. Then sneakily, he used his tail to wash the beastly bubble behind poor Penny Pufferfish to get her into trouble. One day, a poor old hermit crab was reeling from the smell of the bubbly little present Percy left inside his shell. That rotten little stinker! cried the crab. Oh, what a pong! It's time to get our own back, and it shouldn't take too long. Hey, Percy! cried the hermit crab. If you think you're so clever, why don't you try to blow the biggest body bubble ever? Percy's face went a purple from the pressure as he tried it. Then, blop! He blew a huge one, and the crab pushed him inside it. It worked! He shouted. Look, that trumpy troublemaker's trapped. And all the other underwater creatures cheered and clapped. Get me out! Gasped Percy, going greener by the minute as the bubble bibble bubbled up and up with Percy in it. Then suddenly the hermit crab dived back into his shell. Look out! The others cried and tried to hide themselves as well. Oh, see those razor teeth! They gasped. Those evil eyes! Good grief! It's too Tom Tom, the tiger shark, the terror of the reef. The sh tiger shark saw Percy and said, "Mmm, a juicy snack!" and opened his massive mouth and moved into attack. Dinner time! He laughed, but just before his jaws could close, the bubble burst. All the whiff went wafting up his nose. The shark swam off. Hooray for Percy! All the fish cried, and Percy felt a warm and tingly feeling deep inside. You must be feeling proud," suggested Hermit Crab and grinned. "Well, maybe," Percy said. "But then again, it could be wind." The end. Thanks for listening. Hope you enjoyed it. For more videos like this, please like, share, and subscribe.